So he says, Fatardul Ham, he goes, removal of worry, Madhabun is a school of thought, is a position. Qad ittafakat, ittafakat al ummamu kulluha. All nations, all civilizations have all agreed upon this. Mudh khalaq Allahu ta'ala al alam. Since Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the entire universe. Ila an yatanaha all the way until it's going to last. All the way until alamul ibtida. And yatanaha alamul ibtida. Until the alam of ibtida. The, uh, you know, the, the, the end of the beginning of the world. Right, so this world he calls it the alamul ibtida. And then the other world is known as the alamul imtiha. So he goes, when this world ceases, all the way until the last person comes on this earth, they will agree upon this. Yeah, in other words, removal of worry is their sort of like main concern. MashaAllah, Jazakumullah Khair, Crescent Ummi, may Allah bless you. Uh, Jazakumullah Khair for your support and donations. Um, uh, may Allah bless uh, Crescent Ummi. Um, so, going back to this then. So, if you look at this then, he says, let's see what he says. He says, وَيُعَاقِبُهُ عَالَمُ hisab. He says, after this world finishes, this he calls the alamul الْإِبْتِدَاء. He goes, in this, let's let's like kind of like take life and let's put it as a simulation in front of us now, like a three D simulation. This life that we've got from the time of when the when the when the universe was created all the way until it ends. One thing that humans are all going to agree upon is how to remove worry. They're doing it in different ways. Even the most corrupt people in the world at the moment are trying their best to remove their worries. They might be using you know unethical methods to do this, and you know this is something which. Um, which we have to understand. And they might be the most upright of people on earth who are going through the worst situations in life. Even they are trying to get rid of their worries. So he's saying, Zakallah khair for all you do. Zakallah khair, present Ummi. May Allah bless you. May Allah bless your family, your efforts. So he says, وَيُعَاقِبُهُ He says, what follows up is alam hisab the world of, of uh, reckoning, right? Where you're taken for account. على أن لا يعتمدوا بسعيهم شيئا سواه that they do not rely upon بسعي شيئا سواه yeah anything besides that in other words in the alam al hisab the only thing that you're going to rely upon is what you did in the world your سعي your efforts in the world that's the only thing in the hereafter that's going to make right وكل غرض غيره ففي الناس من لا يستحسنه and he says everything else, every other gharad, every other like aim and objective and goal, besides removing worry, nasi man la yastahsinuhu. There's going to be some people on earth who didn't like it. And there's going to be some people who did like it. So you think to yourself, things that you like, what, what kind of things do you like? Do you like combing your hair? Yeah, well, there's going to be some people on earth who don't like combing their hair. Do you like going to sleep? Yeah, there's going to be some people who don't like going to sleep. Do you like uh, eating ice cream? Well, there's going to be some people who don't like eating ice cream. Do you like, you know, doing other things, whether they are allowed or, or not allowed? You know, is this something that, 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 that you think everyone likes? Not necessarily. Just because you like it, he's saying not everyone has to like this. But Tarudul Ham, he says everyone likes it. If fin nasi, he says because amongst the people, man la deena lahu, are those people who have no faith at all in anything. Right? They have no, like, this higher faith.